Hello, my name is Nicole Torres. I live in Modesto, California, and I am part of the Solovey community, proud member. If you need any additional questions about this video or how to set things up, please send me an email at nicole.solovey at gmail.com so that way perhaps I could assist you. Uh, basically, I am using a AT&T unlocked phone. It is a crossover P8000. It's the one with the sliding keyboard with all the nice beautiful features that I love so much. Um, I was able to get my internet and messaging working. I did have to do a little trial and error and troubleshooting. Uh, but basically, the hopefully the tips that I can give you today will help you get your particular phone up and working too. Settings might be a little bit different, but in general, they should all be about the same on any GSM unlocked phone. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there with T-Mobile phones. I'm not sure if you really actually need to have them unlocked, even though they are on the T-Mobile network. Um, so you might want to check into that. There is also a support document in the Solivy community that helps guide you with the settings that need to be actually physically input it on your phone in order for it to access the internet and the messaging. Um, please take a look at this document along with this video because I'm going to quickly go over all of the settings and some of the settings are quite lengthy so you want to make sure you have it on paper so you can ent carefully enter it into your phone. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, basically, um, my camera can't really focus too much on it, so I'm going to go through the whole settings verbally with you. I'm going to go to my settings, and I'm going to wireless and networks. And the other thing is, is while you're doing this, make sure your Wi-Fi is off. Okay? And as you can see, my Wi-Fi is turned off. You go to mobile networks. There is an option here called data services. That's obviously going to be Solovy. So while you're doing your settings, you might want to have take that off. And just by simply clicking on it, now it's not green, so I know it's off. Um, and the other one we need to go to is access point names. Now here's the thing that you need to be concerned for. Every phone is probably already pre-set with an existing um, access point name um, for whatever service it was designed for. For example, mine was designed for AT&T because it's got AT&T on it. Um, I noticed that when after I set up the Solovy Web and Solovy MMS, that pre-existing was still in there. And I selected manually for it to go to Solovy Web, but when I went back and checked, it defaulted itself to the pre-existing one for AT&T. Even when I put Solovy as the default, it still went to the pre-existing one. I actually had to delete it in order for the internet to work. But before you delete yours, make sure you write down all of the settings because that can be actually helpful with troubleshooting your particular phone. Um, so you want to open it up and check all of those little settings to see if there's anything um, particular that you might want to add into the Solo V if it doesn't work the first time. Um, on my phone, for me to add, there's a little menu button down here. It's a physical button. And I click on that, and it says New APN. So click on that one. And I want to set up a test one so that way you can see. So you'll put all the information in here. It's a test, so it doesn't really matter. APN has to be in there too. And as you can see, when you open up your pre-existing, there might be some extra stuff in here. So you want to go in there and write it down just in case you need it. Okay? And then when you add a new one, obviously you want to save it. You have to tell computers to save it. So you click on your menu button and save. So now it's in there. My test is in there. And now I'm going to show you how to delete it. Same thing. You open it up first. You hit your menu button and you delete APN. Now it's gone. So that shouldn't cause any problems with your phone trying to compete with Solvay from the pre-existing one. Um, hopefully that is as simple as deleting um, as it was for me. So let's go over to the ones that I already added in here, which you'll have to do before you can use your data uh, with Solvay. 
what you do is the Solivi web. You want to open that one up first. And you'll have to put all this information in. So I'm going to click on it, add it in there, hit OK. And it's the same process through all of these little fields. So the name is Solivi Web. And just sort of a reminder, that support doc I mentioned before, it has all of those settings kind of like in a list for you. Make sure you print that out before you get started so that way you can easily go in there and, and put the, all the details in. So name is Solavi Web. APN is Solavi. Proxy, port, username, password, server, those are all blank. MMSC, this is the one that's very long, is the actual web address. So it's http colon slash slash solivi.mmsmvno.com slash mms slash w-a-p-e-n-c. Yeah, it's long. And then MS proxy is one, I'm sorry, 216.155.165.0.0. Again, it is 216.155.165.50. MMS port is 8080. Now, here's the thing that I was talking about writing down on your pre-existing. I noticed while I was troubleshooting that my MCC and MNC had a pre-fill in there. I tried it without it, it didn't work. So I added what was on my pre-existing to the solar bee and voila, it works. So, my settings, and you could try this one too just to see, the MCC 310, MNC 260, okay? And authentication type is PAP, APN type is default. That tells the computer to go to the default of solar bee for your internet. Um, I know on the support doc it did not tell you to actually go in there and put in all of the messaging under the Solivi web, but just go ahead and do it anyways. If you're having trouble getting on the internet or your messaging, just go ahead and pre-fill it in there if it's actually a field for you to pre you know, preview in there. So make sure before you exit that you save what you've done. So you hit your little menu button and hit save. Okay, and then you should see it pop up in your little menu options. Okay, and the next one is you do you want to add the Solavi MMS, that's for your messaging. So I'm going to open up the one I've already put in there. And again, I'll go through all of these right here. The name is Solavi MMS, APN Solavi, proxy, port, username, password, server, all blank. The MMSC is that very long uh, web address I read out to you. The MMS proxy is 216.155.165.50. And the MMS port is 8080. MCC 310. MNC is 260. Authentication type is PAP. APN type MMS. Be sure to go to your menu button and hit save. And as you notice, um, if you can tell through the computer, um, there is a radio button for the web, but there is not one for the MMS, even though both of them need to be in there. Okay? So before you leave this button, make sure it's green on your radio button for the Solar V web. I'm going to back out a little too far there. And in order for the internet to work, obviously it's got to be turned on. So mine's not turned on. I'm going to hit it. It's green now. I'm telling my phone now that I want to use the Solavi network on my data services. So it's green. It's great. And I'm just going to make sure the Wi-Fi is off so it doesn't compete with Solavi. And I'm going to go ahead and go in here and test it out. Now I'm going to open up my Google, I'm going to search the web, and, you know, I can use unlimited data now. So if you have any additional questions for me, or if you have any comments on my video, you're welcome to email me at nicole.solavi at gmail.com. 
anybody in Modesto, California or the surrounding areas that would like some help enrolling, please give me a, a, a text or an email as well at nicole.sullivy at gmail.com. Thank you.